Welcome back and congratulations on setting all of your goals for this year so that you're ready now to achieve them. If you're new here, we've just completed a setting goals and achieving them challenge to make sure that we prioritize your goals so that you can actually have them come true for you this year. Today, I'm going to go over a summary of all of the steps that you need to do in order to set your goals correctly so that they will actually come true for you this year. Hi, I'm Amanda Vandergulik from CollaborativeKids.com, and if you're a parent or an entrepreneur who would like to learn strong financial education and learn smart ways to set your goals so that you'll actually achieve them, then make sure that you click subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will know the minute my next video comes out to help you with just that. All right, so today we're going to go through all of the steps that it takes to set your goals in such a way that you can actually achieve them this year. So the first thing that we did at the beginning of this challenge is we went through and we listed down all of the goals that we wanted to achieve for this year. And then we used my goalometer, which you can see in this video over here. And we sorted all of our goals so that we could figure out what is the most important goal that you really, really want to achieve this year. And just simply do A1. B1, C1, and so on, until you have marked all of your goals with a letter. And you're gonna draw this goalometer that you see here on the screen, okay? You're gonna have a zero at the one end, all the way up to a 10 at the other end. The zero are the goals that you really don't have a desire to achieve this year, okay? And the 10 are the goals that you absolutely must achieve this year or else you're just not going to feel accomplished. You're going to end the year feeling like a part of you is missing, all right? These are the ones that are going to get you out of bed in the morning and get you out of bed early on the weekends because you're so excited to get these goals accomplished. Now that you've written them all out, and you have all these things, and you've lined them up on your goalometer, which is awesome, we're not going to do all of them all at once. We might end up doing all of them this year, but we're not going to do all of them all at once. I want you to focus on only... So using the goalometer, you were able to prioritize your goals and really key in which ones were the most important to you. So if you haven't done that yet, make sure you do check out my goalometer video Download the free ebook, Goal Setting for Families Workbook, which is in the description below. It's absolutely free to you and it has the Golometer tool in there to help you prioritize your goals. So after you prioritize your goals and really got clear in your mind which goals you absolutely, absolutely desire to achieve this year, then we went deep into talking about affirmations and the power of our words, which you can see in this video over here if you missed that. We talked about how our words are actually magic, not like hocus pocus magic, but how they actually help us use our filtering system to find the opportunities that bring our goals to us rather than pushing our goals away from us or even worse, attracting things to us that we really did not want to attract. Today I'm going to be sharing the power of our words, how to use our subconscious mind to propel our goals forward and actually attract the things we need in order to make those goals come true. We want to trick our brains into thinking we actually already have what we want. It's really cool. When we trick our brains into thinking that we actually have what we want, our brains will start to use that focus mechanism and filter out anything that's in the way of getting what you want and really focus in on every opportunity to help you get that thing that you want. The reason is your brain is like, oh, I have this thing, and then it looks around. I'm sure I have this thing. It's got to be here somewhere. Huh. Well, if I can't find it, I better go find it. So that's what your brain does. Your brain is like, wow, I don't have this thing. I better go find it. And it will then go everywhere it can to find the things that will help bring it to you. It's really cool and it really works. All right, let me give you a personal example. When I was 12 years old, my best friend in the whole world disappeared. No way. 
23 years. Wow. That moment completely set my trust in the law of attraction, in focusing your mind to filter what you want in a way that you already have it. Instead of 23 years of pushing it away, one day of focused attention believing it already happened. It gets better. <laughs> it gets better. So make sure you do check out that video on affirmations and the law of attraction to help you understand how to actually formulate your goals so that you're attracting what you actually want and not what you don't want. And then we talked about the power of journaling, of how important it is to write down your goals and specifically to write down how grateful you are now that you have your goals. And I shared with you the two different gratitude journals that I personally use. This is the gratitude journal that I absolutely look forward to every single night to write in. This is being grateful for the goals that have yet to come, but I write them as if they already have come. So this is my gratitude journal for nighttime. You could consider it something similar to like a dream journal only you're not wishing, you're not saying, I wish I lived in this beautiful home. I wish I had this wonderful job. Because when we wish for something, we don't have it, therefore we're pushing it away. Which again, you can find out more how to learn, how to make those words work best for you in this video over here. But yes, this is my favorite gratitude journal because this is my present tense gratitude journal for the things that I aim to achieve as if I've already achieved them. And then this is my gratitude journal in the morning. Every morning when I wake up, I write down five things I am truly grateful for that is in my life right now. You know, I'm so happy and grateful that I had a wonderful morning with my children and my wife. We had wonderful communications together. Or I'm so happy and grateful that I got this video done and set up so that I can share it with you and empower you. This is the journal where you write down all the things you're grateful for that have actually already happened in your life. Very important. In week three of the challenge, which you can see in this video over here, we had so much fun as I showed you how to create a vision board that will actually help you attract your goals to you. More specifically, it helps our brains again filter out the things that are not going to help us and focus in on seeing the opportunities that will bring all of those dreams and goals to us. And what I did in this video over here is I actually took my old vision board, which I had created years ago before I got sick. If you're not sure what happened to me, you can check out my coma playlist over here um, where I talk about what happened to me, how I ended up in a three week coma and uh, how I overcame that. But going back to the vision board video that we did, I went over my old vision board and the really amazing thing that I am so grateful I got a chance to do for you is I took my old vision board and I showed you step by step the things on my vision board that were working in my favor, that were helping bring the goals to me. And I showed you all the things that were working against my mind and against the law of attraction, actually pushing away my goals and making me have to struggle to go after them and constantly pushing them away because I don't want you to have to go through that. So I have now been using vision boards for over 10 years and they are amazing. Now, as you can see here, my vision board needs some updating. So I'm actually going to walk you through how to create a vision board by updating my own so that you can see what has been working for me and what has been working against me to achieve my goals. It's a little chaotic and that actually plays with your mind. So we're gonna fix that today. All right, so you can see that my vision board is a little chaotic right now. And there are things on here that are working for my subconscious mind to help me propel myself forward, to find the opportunities to make my goals come true. However, there is a big flaw in this vision board and I'm gonna share that with you in just a moment. And so I had a look at it and I thought I need to change this, but I wanted to wait so that I could do this together with you. So I'm going to take 
everything off of here and show you which things were serving me and which things were not serving me. And then we have all of my new pictures to put on and I'll explain how they work. I have Canadian tire money everywhere. I wanted to have something that would showcase the idea of money flowing constantly into my life. I still really like that idea. The only problem is it says things like 10 cents, 5 cents. Well, that's not a very abundant amount. However, I do have these bills up here, and they are for $1 million US, so a much more abundant. And then, after we cleared the old vision board, then we put together my brand new vision board. I should never thought making a vision board was this difficult. Only if you're a lung patient. <laughs> Isn't it looking amazing? It's making my soul feel so much joy. Just seeing all of my dreams, all of my visions, all of my goals, just seeing them all there, it makes me so excited. I can't wait to put this in my office. And then just to sit and look at this every single day. Ta-da! <laughs> Oh, this brings me such joy. There, doesn't that look much better? Ta-da! I added a couple of extra things as well, because remember I was going to add the money, um, but I didn't want the Canadian Tire money showing, because I wanted it to be real money, um, or at least in my mind feel like it was real money, not just five cents, ten cents, you know, a little bit of change. So what I did, take a look here, let me just, here, I'm going to turn you around. Those are all of the, the million dollar notes, and the Canadian Tire money is all behind it. I just have a really nice thick stack of it there. Which brings me to our last video of the challenge, which was last week's video you can see right here. I showed you how to create a digital moving vision board. So this is a vision board that lets you step right into your dreams and actually feel like you're living them right now, which is the key to success when it comes to goal setting and actually achieving them. I'm going to give you three ways of how you can make a mind movie with PowerPoint, your phone, and the mind movie software. Imagine that we're tasting and smelling. We want to feel every part of our senses possible to really make our mind movie real and as if we are, again, stepping inside our dream world. Are you excited? You have every tool you need. You have your affirmations, you have your photos, and you have your music. Now we want to create a mind movie. Trying to give yourself enough time to really digest the information that your mind is seeing. Right click on it and say change photo and then you can just put your next picture in instead. And see it already fills it nice and easy peasy. And then I would change this and say I love or I am healthy and strong. I like putting exclamation marks as well because it just adds emotion, positive emotion. It's, it's honestly that simple. You just pick the pictures you want and then you can just, you know, zoom in and see like how does that make you feel? You really want to make sure all the photos make you feel vibrant and alive and, and make sure the person, if you have a person in the picture, looks like you or resembles you or even better, choose your own photos, upload them, and have your own pictures in there, okay? That is honestly how simple it is. And as you know, this was a challenge, and as part of the challenge, I chose one winner of the challenge to receive a free copy of my Teaching Children About Money Home Study Online course, which is a full 12-month course teaching you a how to teach your children about money, how to raise an abundant, healthy mindset. And I wanted to share two amazing comments that I received and then share which one of these two comments actually was our winner for the challenge. So Sasha has left a wonderful comment. Amanda, you're the best. I love you for this. And I've been hanging on for your next video, which I can see is here. Yippee! Thank you, Sasha. I love your energy and your focus and your dedication. I know you've been with me for years now, and I really appreciate your wonderful comments. And then Corinde 
quote in the lake. Um, as you can see, it's written in Dutch here, so I'll quickly translate it for you. Those are nice words. Um, last year, in 2019, I made my first ever vision board, and now I'm going to make my second one. I'm really looking forward to seeing how your vision board turns out and what your goals are. My goal is to see more of my family this year, and so far, it's looking like it's actually going to work. I'm really looking forward to your next video. Thank you, Corinda. That's so exciting. I'm so glad that you took action and you created a vision board and you're recreating your vision board for 2020, which is amazing. So now drum roll. And the winner of our setting goals and achieving them challenge is Corinda Lake. I will be reaching out to you, Corinda, and I will be giving you full access to my Teaching Children About Money home study course. If you're interested in this course and you want to learn more about how to actually teach your children about money and how to raise money savvy healthy wealthy mindsetful children then have a look at the description below I'll put a link into a couple of free tools that I actually share with you to help you get started with raising money smart kids this is so exciting all right I am so grateful to you that you came along with me on this journey for the challenge. I can't wait to see what goals you have set for for yourself and the steps that you're taking to achieve them. Make sure you leave me a comment below and let me know what is your most important goal that you absolutely are determined to achieve this year. And when you do, I will have a look at all of the comments and I will help you word your goal so that it's working for your mind instead of against you. Now, since having done my vision board and my mind movie, the digital vision board, we've had a couple of changes in our life, which is so amazing because as you know, if you saw my vision board being created, one of my goals is to buy my parents' old property and to build a brand new home on that. So, as part of the movement going forward, in order to make those things happen, changes have to occur in our lives. So, just before I went to create this video for you, just two days ago, we learned that the place that we are currently renting is going up for sale for reasons personal and beyond the control of the landlord, and we wish them all the love and support that they can have. So, instead of feeling normally um, scared and afraid of what was going to happen, my first initial reaction was actually tremendous excitement. I, I, it was like, oh my gosh, this is actually going to happen. So the very first thing I did, which you can see over here, and I'll show you in just a moment what is on here, is I created a new list of vision board information. We are so happy and grateful for our new home and I've listed exactly what is going to be in our new home. And it was a wonderful feeling. So having gone through the goal setting and the affirmations creation and the vision board and the mind movie, it actually helped change the way that I see the world and it took a lot of the panic out that normally would have set in. Now another thing that we did in the challenge, which I talk about in this video over here, is I talked about a routine of daily meditation to help you get into the mindset of abundance and prosperity. So make sure you check that one out too. I am so excited for you. I cannot wait to see what you have created. If you've missed any of the videos in the challenge, I put them all together in a playlist right here for you. So go ahead and go through them. Make sure you download the free goal setting for families workbook so that you can fill out your goalometer. And I also have a free law of attraction list for you of all of the tools that I personally use and highly recommend. They're both free and they're at the same link. So go ahead and grab that. If you have found this challenge really helpful for you, Will you do me a huge favor and share this with someone who you know could really use the inspiration? I am so excited. Leave me your biggest challenge when it came to setting goals and actually achieving them in the comments below and I will look forward to helping you answer those as well. Now I'll see you over here.